Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. And in this video today, I am going to be talking about five reasons why living in Germany may not be for you. So this is actually going to be a follow-up on a video that I made a while back now, talking about why Germany may not be for you. I talked about various topics like German weather and brutal German honesty and various reasons why Germany is definitely not for everybody. And a lot of you found this video really interesting, really eye-opening, and wanted me to make a part two, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I know that Germany is an extremely desirable country to so many people for a number of reasons, but no country is perfect. For me personally, Germany is a country for me. I love living in Germany, and even if there's things that maybe bother me that um, aren't maybe perfect, I've learned to either adjust or these things are just not a big deal for me um, but for you these may be deal breakers so anyway let me get into the video okay so one of the reasons why living in Germany may not be for you is because of the high taxes here in Germany so Germany is known to have one of the strongest social security systems in the whole world employee protection, mandatory public health care, the list goes on. Germany is a country that looks after their people, but this does come at a price because you are going to be paying very high taxes, which for me are 100% worth it. For the security that I receive, that my family receives here in Germany, the high taxes are not even an issue. They, I don't even question them. But for some people, being taxed so highly may be a deal breaker. Taxes here in Germany are some of the highest in the world, except, you know, you just have to think about what you get for that. You know, your income may not be as high at the end, your net income, but um, you're covered for basically everything. And I think the general cost of living in Germany is not so expensive. So basically in Germany you are going to be taxed very very highly. A huge chunk of your monthly income will go into taxes but you are going to have peace of mind because you are very well looked after so you have to kind of weigh it up like that. Okay guys so another reason why living in Germany may not be for you is if you are somebody who does not like getting up early. Germany is a country designed for early birds. It's known that people who get up bright and early are more productive and Germany definitely has a very productive society but getting up early is certainly not for everybody. So I am a person who is a night owl. I love to stay up a little bit too late. I get all of my creative ideas at night time and I've always been like that and I'm somebody who would rather stay up a little bit later and maybe sleep in a little bit later. Um, that's just me personally but I have been completely forced out of that since living in Germany, especially since having children. So it definitely depends on the type of job you have in Germany, but most people start work around 7.30, 8.30 at the latest, and in New Zealand, most people start work around nine o'clock. So that's actually quite a big difference when you're looking at starting work at 7.30 and starting work at 9 a.m. Also, when you need to commute, when there's quite a bit of travel time to get to work, you know, if you're starting work at 7.30, 30 then you have to get up like before 6 even and I think a lot of Germans do that they have to get up super super early start their day and you know get to work and so they can you know start their day bright and early and it's just something so normal in Germany and you know if you're German and you're watching this you're probably thinking what is your problem that's just normal but for me it just seems super early. Like my husband, for example, he has to wake up at quarter to six every morning to get to work by 7.30. He works in the wine industry. In Germany, his job title is Winzer. Um, so he's basically a winemaker, viticulturist, and he needs to start work really early. And for him to get to work on time, he has a little bit of a commute, um, like 15 minutes to drive to get to work. And he likes to just get up early, have a 
nice breakfast, have a little bit of relaxing time before work, which means he needs to get up at, you know, quarter to six, which is so early. I have to get up at six o'clock to get my kids to school in kindergarten. My little girl Amelia starts school at eight o'clock on the dot. She has to leave the house at quarter past seven every morning to catch the bus on time to get to school by eight. And um, it's super dark in winter. She has to leave home in the dark, which is crazy to me. Um, but it's totally normal here in Germany. That's just what Germans do. That's what's normal. People just get on with it and do it. And it's, for me, insanely early. My little boy has to be at kindergarten by eight o'clock. And so we're leaving the house. We just walk to kindergarten. We're leaving the house at quarter to eight, which is not too bad. That's definitely manageable, but um, it's definitely a very early wake up. And when I tell my friends, my family and friends in New Zealand that I have to get up at six o'clock every morning, they can't believe it. And the fact that school starts at eight o'clock because in New Zealand school starts at nine, a whole hour later, they're just like, that is crazy. But um, in Germany, it's something completely 100% normal and no one really blinks an eyelid at this concept. But for me, I struggle. I still struggle with the mornings. But on the other hand, it's actually quite nice to get up early and start your day and I find that I'm a lot more productive when I get up early. So there's definitely positives to waking up early and being forced to become an early bird but it's definitely not something that comes naturally to me and it's something I struggle with every morning but it is what it is and once again this is not a deal breaker for me it's just something that I've had to adjust adapt to okay so moving on to another reason why living in Germany may not be for you is because if you are an employee in Germany you are paid monthly rather than weekly or fortnightly and so for me this was something that took a lot of getting used to because in many other countries you receive your paycheck every week or every fortnight and this is something that makes budgeting really manageable. A lot of people, especially when you are just starting out in the workforce, do not have a huge savings account and a lot of backup and so many people are just living paycheck to paycheck and so it can be super hard to manage when you're only paid once a month. So when I was working full time in Australia, I remember getting my paycheck every week and it was great. So every week you had money coming in. But um, when you get paid once a month, you have to really budget if you are in the situation where you're living paycheck to paycheck. Um, and so I think a lot of people would maybe struggle with that, struggle to save. You have to be really, really careful about your money. A lot of people, mostly young people, if they have money in front of them, they just want to spend it. And so, you know, you get your monthly paycheck and it seems like a lot of money. It's like, oh my gosh, I have so much money, I can go out and spend it. So they go shopping and they have a good time and then they realize, oh, I actually don't have as much money as I thought that I did. And then it's a disaster. So when you are getting paid every month, you definitely have to be a lot smarter about your money and you have to have a plan, you have to have a strategy, otherwise you're going to run into trouble at the end of the month. And I know that there are a lot of people out there who are super smart with their money and you know they're earning enough to put away like huge savings every month and everything, but that's not the reality. A lot of people are, are living paycheck to paycheck. And what I'm trying to say is that um, getting paid monthly instead of weekly or fortnightly you know it requires a lot of planning and um, some people maybe are not capable of sorting out their finances in the way that you know you need to make sure your money lasts for the whole month and so when you're getting it sort of rationed out every week it makes it a lot easier so anyway um, for me not a deal breaker for some people it might be so guys, moving on, last but not least, one of the reasons why living in Germany may not be for you is if you are somebody who values really good customer service because 
The customer service in Germany is definitely not the best. Um, I actually made a video recently, it was like the last video I posted where I talked about a disastrous experience that I had here in Germany with customer service. Um, so if you are somebody who loves to be looked after when you're out, when you're out at restaurants or you're in shops, then forget it. <laughs> like In Germany it's just not going to happen. One of my very first culture shocks when moving to Germany was when I would go into shops and people would just completely ignore me like the sales assistant would ignore me which for me was actually great because I'm one of those shoppers who I'll go into a shop and I know exactly what I want if I'm looking for a dress I will know exactly what color what style I just I know what I like and I know what I don't like and I don't need somebody following me around and helping me so for me that was actually perfect but for some people they need somebody to assist them in New Zealand you'll go into a clothes shop and the sales assistant will come right up to you and say are you looking for anything in particular can I help you you know let's try on this we'll see if this fits you and they'll give you recommendations about you know other items that may suit you better and things like that and a lot of time these people are on commission so you know the more that they earn the more they'll get paid and so they really want to get a sale out of you so they are just like following you around and sort of hounding you <laughs> um, which is so annoying sometimes and in Germany as I mentioned they just kind of leave you alone so basically you find your own item you decide if you like it or not and then you go pay and there's very minimal small talk it's just you know you pay you get out of there um, and so it's a huge contrast to New Zealand that's for sure in restaurants exactly the same thing hardly any small talk if any you know they just the waitress or the waiter will come up and take your order and it's just they're just doing their job but no extra um, and so that's what I've noticed in Germany. You know, you'll get the old waiter or waitress that is super nice and friendly, but for the most part, they're just basically doing their job. This is just a completely different concept to the customer service in New Zealand. In hospitality, people are just going out of their way to serve you and make you feel welcome and to make sure you have the best possible dining experience ever. So <laughs> I found that super interesting and at the beginning it was pretty unusual for me right now I don't really care it's fine um, but for some people it may be a complete deal breaker and a lot of people they enjoy really good customer service and of course I think most people probably do but uh, it's just sort of something you need to deal with if you live in Germany that the customer service in Germany is most likely not going to be amazing um, and people are not going to be bending over backwards to serve you in restaurants and shops and things like that. So anyway guys that is all I've got for you today. I really hope you found this video interesting, eye-opening, whatever you want to call it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye.